again everyone um, so this is uh, another video and this is now for the second set of algebra questions that I gave you guys to do um, hope you guys are all doing them and you're eagerly awaiting answers so I've been a bit more prepared this time I've written out all the, uh, the questions so we've got exercise one exercise two and then because the third exercise is quite hard I've split it into two boards so we've got we've got all those ones to the very very end like so okay so to run through um, the answer. See, I'm going to do this fairly quickly because last night's video was a wee bit long and it takes a wee while to edit and stuff. So we're multiplying here. Um, so essentially, if it's different letters or numbers, uh, numbers obviously you just multiply together, like this one, for example, is 8 times 2, which is going to be 16, and then there's a P on its own, so that's just 16P. Um, if you're repeating the letter, so multiplying something by itself once would be squared, but multiplying it again would then be cubed, and we write that with a wee 3 up in the corner, which I'm sure you guys all know. This one, for example, you just squish them together, so it's going to be MN. Uh, we've got 3 times T times 5, if I can read my own writing, I hope that's a 5. 3 fives are 15, 15T. 15 D times D is D squared, and P times P times P is P cubed. Now, weirdly, uh, we've got that one repeated twice, but that doesn't really matter, that was just a mistake in the... In the, in the questions, okay? Uh, y times 8, you would always write um, the number first, so I would write that as 8y, and again, squish them together with no gap between them. 3 twos are 6 times m. y times y is y squared. Uh, 4 multiplied by y multiplied by 3 is 12y. Uh, m times m is m squared, with a 3 at the start would be 3m squared. And now here we get to slightly more difficult ones, which we're going to get to on the other side as well, where you've got um, numbers and letters together. So you take the big numbers at the start, so that's just 8 times 2 is 16, and then k times k is k squared. Okay, so you can pause the video there if you need to, uh, go through the answers, tick them off, and give yourself a score out of 12. Okay, I got 12 out of 12. So, on to exercise 2. Uh, much the same, slightly more difficult towards the end. 5x times 2, you do the 5 times 2 is 10, and then the x doesn't get multiplied by anything, so it's just 10x. Here, 3 twos are 6, and then e multiplied by e is e squared. Okay, um, here we've got you know, just slightly different ones, so, or more terms if you like. 3 fives are 15, and then p multiplied by q, you can't really do anything with that, so you're just going to write pq beside it. Um, now, that's a 6. That's my own writing's really bad. 2 6s are 12, multiplied by t is 12t. 3 3s are 9, and then t times t is t squared. Now, that one, interestingly, could also be written like this. Okay, and that's going to be useful somewhere else in one of the other, um, one of the other exercises. Okay, 2 10s are 20. Q multiplied by q is q squared. b times, now, technically, there's a 1b. There's a 1 in front of that b. So 1 times 3 is 3. And b times b is b squared. Uh, m times m is m squared. And then the 5 at the start, 5m squared. 5 twos are 10. And h multiplied by h is h squared. 2 threes are 6, much the same as that previous one. 6t squared. Now here we've got three numbers. So we just do them, like literally 2 times 3, 6 times 5 is 30. And a times a is a squared. Okay, uh, 10 times 3 is 30, times 2 is 60. And then there's just an N on its own, so um, 60N. Okay, again, pause the video if you want to and get your answers. That one also out of 12. And of course, we're doing well with full marks so far. Now, these ones are a little bit harder, so I've spaced them out a little bit more, so hopefully you can see them. Um, so we've got five sevens, first of all, are 35. And then U times U times U. So when you multiply something by itself, it was squared, and then by itself again, it was cubed. So it's... 35u cubed. Um, 3, 3, 3. So 3 times 3 times 3. 3 threes are 9. And then 9 times 3 is 27. And then v times v is v squared. Uh, again, this one could technically be written as 10h all squared in a bracket if the question said that. That's what it would mean. So that's 100h squared. Uh, 3 threes are 9. And then 9 times 4 is 36. And we've got j multiplied by j multiplied by j. So that's j cubed. Uh, two threes are six. Six times two is twelve, and then y multiplied by y multiplied by y is y cubed. Q cubed, and then there's just technically there's a one there and a one there. Five multiplied by one multiplied by one is just five. Okay, so there's six of those on that one, and then we've got our last set here. 
get really quite tricky towards the end with this is why I've been mentioning the brackets all along because I knew they were coming up but three twos are six and then six multiplied by two is 12 f times f times f is f cubed four sixes are 24 again there's a one technically in front there so that's just 24 now x y and t you can't do anything with those so you just need to write them squished together um, like so six twos are 12 and 12 times 2 is 24 j multiplied by j multiplied by j is j cubed three twos are six times another two is 12 that one looks very similar to that one but we've got different letters now h multiplied by h is h squared and then you can't do anything with the t so you just need to write it beside of it make sure the squared goes with the h because the squared doesn't go with the t it goes with the h okay this one again is like the ones we had earlier on this is technically 2w multiplied by 2w and um, two twos are four and then w multiplied by w is w squared here again i could write this out long ways but to be honest you really don't want to be doing this because it makes the question much longer so you want to just do three cubed so three threes are nine and then nine times three is 27 and then x times x times x is just x cubed but that would give you the same answer as well it's a little bit shorter today it's just running through the answers again i see i noticed that two of you have subscribed essentially which is which is really good um thank you for doing that um and 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 let me know in the google classroom group or even in the comments below what you think about this i might make this one public because i'm a wee bit happier with how that's worked out a bit shorter as well okay and um yeah i'll be in touch tomorrow with what work we're doing tomorrow thanks guys bye <music>